Back to my review of the Bowcatcher Acceler. I'm going to demonstrate all the commands. I'm just going to turn it on. Can't really see it well, but as you can see that I moved it a little bit. You can move it this, this part up and down. So basic commands. Uh, I should have this here too, in case you want to read that. Um, yeah, the instructions are here and here, and you also have to look it up or like check out what you do on the show. The basic stuff is the first one, change, which is just um, this. It just keeps going as you can see. And then you just spin it around a little bit. So the sensitivity for that is a little weird. I'll do it again so I won't be talking when I say it. Next are the vehicle commands. And there's also the combination formations that I'll demonstrate now. Engine twice, sorry. You can also do a short curve with this. Also, die tanking.
And finally, there's ultimate formation. Sorry if it was a little shaky and rocky, but that was my main demonstration of all the formations you can do with the phone that I know of, at least. Uh, off the top of my head, just looking up the Wikipedia and Collection DX and stuff. So something I would like to address after playing with this Acceler is the fact that the product is made from China. As you can see from the back of this toy here, and on the front of this box, sorry, over here. Now normally, of course it's Foxconn, a whole bunch of like labor law issues and bad media and stuff, but there is a silver lining with some of this that some people might understand. This, uh, let me see, yeah. You can see, sorry, that it's fuzzy. Oh wait, that synced up again. This was made in 2005 to six. As you can see on both the phone and on the, well the box on this is 2006, but you know what I mean. So it's lasted about 11 to 10 years, 10 to 11 years. And it still works pretty well, as you've seen in my uh, my demo of the, the toy, the Acceler, in my previous video. And it makes you it makes me wonder a little bit, like maybe it's not all Chinese factories that are bad or poor quality, but just certain management and stuff. Like maybe Bandai personally supervises this because. This is the last 10 years, like, I don't have computers in the last 10 years. Look at this paint, it's pretty good. The paint here, not that good, but for the most part it's good. Like, some stains and, um, you can see some paint falling off, but it's, for the most part, pretty good. The sign's pretty good. Uh, let's not talk about the box, sorry. Uh, the sounds still work. The colors of the buttons are excellent. Like, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there's a certain thing about iPhones. Like, maybe it's because like you always have to auto correct and the typing never works. But like, there's certain like I understand why they went from Tokyo Six having an iPhone to Zuogers having normal phones again. There's a certain novelty to actually pressing a button now after not doing it for a while. And these quality buttons, if you've ever tried an Acceler, feel great. Like, it's it's really a lot of fun just pressing the buttons. And capping it off with figuring out that you can do stuff with the buttons is even better. Let me demo a little bit. Like that just feels great. Like, whatever Chinese factory this was made in, they did a good job. And you have to give kudos to whoever was in charge, whether it was Japanese or Chinese management. Like, it might have even been a foreigner who who was more in charge of, like, toy expertise or whatever. Like, they just got some guy from the resume off LinkedIn, and he knew about toy production and keeping high quality through management, through, like, whatever country the person came from and said, let's make a quality toy. Like you're just spending like 30 to $100 on this thing. Let's give something the fans want. I never hear this a lot about toys and I don't really talk about toys much. I don't really know much about toys, but like it's very interesting. Like there's always complaints about the TV product, but this top notch, like 10 years later, it still works. And there's very little wear on this thing. I mean, there's, there's some damage. I don't know if you can tell on the phone. I mean, you can't really tell. Yeah, you can't tell on the iPhone, but there's actually some scratches on, on the top thing here. And it's just not, no, like, on the phone, it's not noticeable. So it just shows you, like, maybe this iPhone's not good quality. But anyway, this Acceler is really good quality after all these years. And I just, just very admirable that they did that. Okay.
leave a comment below and tell me what you think about that, about my thoughts and your thoughts.